So, you <laughs> So this looks like it might be better now. Julia, are you there? Yes, I'm there. So okay, I'm here. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, Julia, how's it going? I'm doing <clears throat> well. Thank you. How are you? Doing nice. Okay, good. good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Um, Good. And Carlos, Carlos, how's it going? It's going really well. Uh, I want to apologize in advance because I'm at the office and maybe I have to leave the class. At the, I have to leave at the middle okay. of the class. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. No worries. Uh, but thanks for the uh, for warning. Um, and yeah, Julieta, welcome back. How's it going? Hi, it is going well. Thank you. Nice. Good to hear. Um, and Niels, Niels Martin, how's it, how's it going with you? Niels, are you there? Rebecca, how's it going? Well, thank you. And you? Doing pretty well. Rebecca, what have you done today? <clears throat> Sorry? What have you done today? What have you done? I've been studying so far. Uh, I took uh, two lessons before this one. And in the morning, um, uh, I can't remember what I did in the morning. Uh, okay. I've been, uh, you know, uh, writing some emails. Okay, nice. Sounds good, like, like a good day. Saif, how's it going with you? Hello, everything's going fine. Thanks. Okay, good to hear. Um, and Saif, what about you? What have you done today? Uh, I've I've been working. I I finished my work at six p p.m. and now it's seven p.m. So I'm now home. I'm right. taking the first class. <laughs> nice. Okay, good. I'm glad to see you. And Emilio, how about you? How's it going? I'm doing well, thank you. Nice. Okay, good to hear. Um, and let's get started with today's... Actually, Emilio, what about you? What have you done today? I've been working during the morning and now I'm at home. Okay. All right, so pretty well. I can't hear me. you, Joshua. You can't hear me. Uh, hmm. Niels, can you hear everybody else? Or can somebody, <laughs> maybe Julieta, can you ask Niels if he can hear you? Niels, can you hear me? Uh, Niels, can you hear anybody else? Okay, and so Niels, yeah, if you could, can you try to leave and come back to class? Um, and that should probably solve your problem. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but let's get started with today's class, and let's start with Yudia. Can you read the title in the next few lines? 
Mm, Benkin. Mm, in today's class, we will use money idioms. Practice going to the bank. Talk about loans and debt. Okay. And can you hear? Repeat loans. 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 Nice loans and loans. Debt. Dead. 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 Okay. Good. And let's go to the next page. Julia, can you ask Saif the question? Um, Said, what is happening in the picture? What is going to happen next? Well, um, I I think uh, the customer came to get some uh, Louis and the employer is negotiating with her. and the employer is negotiating? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, Rebecca, what do you think is going to happen next? Do you think he'll get the loan? Um, yeah, how do you think the negotiations will end? Well, uh, just uh, watching, uh, have a look of the, the picture, I can, I, I can know, but you know, I can make it up. Uh, the the um, manager manager can I say manager of the bank is manager when uh, something is um, someone yeah. is okay the manager the manager of the bank um, is very um, is is willing to to give uh, him uh, the huge amount he's asked which he's uh, which he's asked. Okay, so the manager of the bank is willing to give him the huge amount that he is asking for? Yeah, okay, but yes. Yeah, can you read that sentence one more time? Okay, the manager of the bank is willing to give him the huge amount that he is asking for. Good, and Laura, what, uh, what's he going to do with the money? What's he going to do with it? To start up a new business. Okay, yeah, maybe we can start with like he will use the money. Okay, and see you later, Carlos. Start up a new business. Okay. okay. Yeah, Jin. Sorry, Laura, can you ask Julieta the next question? Yes, of course. Um, when was the last time you went to the bank? Uh, why did you go? Uh, I I need to know uh, if I had to re to to answer or not because I didn't do anything. Yeah, Juliette, uh, could you answer? <laughs> so sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, the, the last time I went to the bank, uh, I think it was. Uh, at the beginning of the year because my um, because my um, ID was uh, mm -hmm. Out of time today. Okay, I'm sorry. I lost you after my idea was. Um, can you repeat yourself one more time? Yes, uh, because my ID my ID was out of time. Uh, out of date. Out of date. Or expired. Expired. Yes. So they wanted my new ID. Nice, okay, good, that makes sense. And Niels, how's it going? I think it's going fine now. I can hear you and I can hear everybody. Okay, can you hear me? 
Yeah, that's great. How's it going, Niels? Fine, thank you. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Denmark, Copenhagen. Okay, perfect. Yeah, well, welcome to class. And Valentina, welcome to class as well. Valentina, how's it going? How I'm fine, thanks. Okay, nice to hear. Um, okay, perfect, yeah. And actually, Valentina, where are you from? I'm from Italy. Right, it's nice. not my first class with you. Ah, it's probably the lack of a picture. Um, sometimes it's hard to remember just yes, names. I attended other classes with you. Okay, perfect. Um, well, welcome back. It's good to see you again. Okay. Uh, and yeah, let's go on to the next page. And let's have Emilio. Can you read the title and the next words? Vocabulary: define the words or use them in a sentence. Overdrawn, statement, balance, brand, direct deposit, debt, ATM, interest, collateral. Nice, okay. Um, you did a really good job. There are some tough words here. Um, let's look at debt. Can you repeat debt? Debt. There's no B, so it just sounds like debt. 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 Yeah, that was really good. What about interest? Can you repeat interest? Interest. <laughs> yeah, really good job. Interest. Um, and collateral. Collateral. Hold on. Collateral. And... Does anybody have any questions about any of these words? Yes, I have one question. It was the meaning of overdrawn. Uh, okay, and who can explain what overdrawn means? I can try. <clears throat> have no more money in your account. Yeah, so when you have no more money, in your account and you try to take out more money or write a check. I guess. Um, then, <clears throat> then you're overdrawn. Um, does that make sense? Yes, you enter into red numbers. Hmm? Yeah, you enter into red numbers and you usually get a fine. Um, okay. Any other questions? Okay. Um, maybe Anna Carolina, can you make a sentence using direct deposit? Okay. Um, I I'm I I I bought uh, some stuff and I I paid to the store by making a direct deposit to their. Uh, Saving account. Okay. Yeah, you could do that. So it's a little bit more common for employers to pay employees via direct deposit. Um, via direct deposit. But it's more common to receive salary via direct deposit. Um, so when your employer directly deposits money into your account, you don't get a check, you don't get cash, um, you just get a direct deposit into your bank account. That's probably the most common way. Um, but yeah, so your sentence was good too, Anna. Okay. Can I ask you a question about the word interest, what it means in this uh Vocabulary. Yeah. And it sounds like interest. Can you repeat interest? Interest. Good. Um, and does anybody know what interest is? Ah, uh, yes. Um, interesting is the, uh, for example, you uh, amount of money and, and then um, 
and and then you 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 receive some some profits. It's the interest, and if you buy stocks, the dividends are are the interest, and also uh, if you if you pay some money at a particular rate for the use of the money lent or for delaying the repayment of a debt, it's also interest. Good. Yeah, so if you get a loan, um, you have to repay more money, maybe just to simplify it, than you took out which is the interest. Yeah, that was really good, uh, Ana Carolina. Um, so if you put money in a bank and you get money out of the money that you left in the bank, that's interest. So generally they'll give you a small percentage of the money that you have in um, as interest. Um, yeah. Thank you. So Sorry, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, which is the correct name of the percentage of the interest? Interest tax? Huh? If I remember well, uh, I'm not sure. An interest tax, the percentage that is calculated on the amount. A uh, rate, yes. Interest rate. Okay, yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, interest rate, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Emilio. Any other questions? Is the word collateral. The military sometimes uh, makes collateral damage when they are solving problems, but here in the bank account, what, how can you use the word collateral? Okay, yeah, so you've got a good point. It can be a military term. Uh, in terms of banking, uh, does anybody know what collateral is? Collateral. Yeah. At uh, <clears throat> when you agree at the bank that, that if you failed um, to pay back money that you borrowed by your um, by um, um, like. Uh, um, how to tell it in English? Sold, uh, uh, sold the car, but uh, uh, give back money to the bank, or sold your flat. Yes, it's like this one. Yeah. So if you fail to pay back the money that you borrowed, you will have <laughs> to give the bank your collateral. Yes. Which could be your house, your car house, your business, yes. something mm -hmm. of value that you have, for sure. Um, yeah, really good job. Any other questions here? ATM, is that what the English will call a hole in the wall? Where you can uh, get money from the bank directly? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, this is just a, a, like a machine that uh, lets you take out money. Would be an automatic teller machine, an ATM. Yeah. I think sometimes. And any other questions? In the wall, isn't it so? They call it what? A hole in the wall. A hole in the wall? A hole in the wall. I heard somebody. <laughs> maybe. I haven't maybe. heard it in American no. English. No. But maybe. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions here? Okay. Let's go on to the next page. Uh, and I think we're with Julia. Um, Julia, can you read the comic? Hmm. 
Yes. Um, for fastest service, <clears throat> start doing your banking online already. <clears throat> Good. And Julia, do you do your banking online or in person, and why? Um, um, I'm doing banking online because it's really useful nowadays. When you, for example, uh, came home from work uh, too late, uh, when all uh, branches are closed, and you just came home and doing some payments on like um, now how now nowadays, and could be very useful for those who have little children, for example. Um, till one month, till one, two, three, till 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 one year. They haven't a lot of free time to go to the bank, to stuck in uh, I don't know, not traffic uh, like as the synonyms of tracking by by people. Uh, not tra traffic traffic jams lines, like traffic jams. Lines. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So you do your banking online generally. Um, yes. Yeah. It's more useful for you. Okay. Um, and Julia, can you ask Valentina the next question? Um, me. Yes. Uh, yeah, Julia, can you ask uh -huh, Valentina um, yes. the question? Uh, Valentina, could you tell me, please, what are some advantages and disadvantages to both? Okay. Mm. Okay, for me. Mm. Okay, the banking online is uh, is really practical and useful uh, because uh, if your branches, is, if your banks are closed, if you arrive late uh, from work, it's very useful. But. Mm, it can be dangerous because it depends of the website when you withdraw. Yes, it's uh, yes, it's safer. It's safer to do banking online by using the the bank site only for me. The bank website, yes. And yeah, maybe by using only the bank's site. Oh, okay, by using only the bank site or the bank website. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well done. But the contrary, if you do, um, if you, if you withdraw some amount in person, uh, you have uh, the the advantage of um, of the safety. Yes, you don't. Yeah. You don't have any risk if you withdraw in person. Okay. Um, so can you repeat in the in, in the bank directory? Yes. Can you repeat safety? Safety. Ah, uh, safety. Ah, uh -huh. no safety. Okay, safety. Okay, safety. Safety. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good. And yeah, so yeah, I think that's good. Does anybody have any questions here? Okay. Let's skip that for now. Sorry. I'm trying to get to a role play. There it is. Okay. And let's have Saif. Can you read the role A? Okay, who will read the role A? Me or Anna? Yeah, Saif, can you just read the role out loud? Okay. You go to a bank in order to ask for a business loan. Tell the banker why you want a loan and convince him that he should pay you the money. Good. Good pronunciation. 
And let's have Rebecca. Can you read role B? B. You work at the bank. Help the customer, but B is skeptical about their business plan. If it falls, you might get fired from your position. Good. All right. Well done. And so let's start with Saif. Can you pretend you're person A? How would you start? Um, um okay uh, how should I do this can you give a hint I'm just uh, you want me to repeat it in my way or no so pretend you're that person you have to pretend you're talking to person B and start a conversation <coughs> so start uh, a conversation okay um, let's say good afternoon um uh, uh, I wanted um, <clears throat> to apply for a for a loan and um I'm sure that your bank will um will accept my my needs um uh, as I work uh, as I work, uh, as I as I have a full time job, and uh, I can uh, return uh, the money without any problem. And I I and I get my uh, bank statement so uh, to show you uh, my my monthly balance so I think this will help you make the decision okay nice I don't know what you said after will and after have can you kinda clear that up for me okay Okay, uh, I say, I've said that uh, I'm sure that your bank uh, will um, will ex accept my um, my my application. And um, after that, uh, let's say as I have um, a full time job. and I get my bank statement yeah nice okay uh, really well done and Rebecca how would you respond mm -hmm. I'm me I will help you make the decision um, well but um, before uh, giving you the money, um, you know, is uh, the rule of the bank is the the policy, the policy of the bank to check um, um, some personal details about our client, uh, client, client or customer in the bank, clients. Uh, we need uh, time. Customers, okay. Both, thank you. Uh, we need time for for um, get that information and for forget that information. Full stop. All right, to get that information. So we need some time to get. So we'd use the infinitive there. Does that make sense, Rebecca? We need time to get. Yeah, it's better. We need mm -hmm. time to get that information. Thank you. Good. Well done. And Niels, how would you respond as person A? Well, I can. Uh, I'm. I'm been a customer in this bank for say two years, and uh, you all. I also will tell you what I want to loan for. I'm going to buy a new car, and uh, I need say fifty thousand dollars.
Okay, I need fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. And I, I have a house with no loan in it, so that could be uh, it could be quite a safe way to lend me those money. Nice. Really good. That's an awesome answer. Um, I have a house with no loan on it. Um, we could also say I have a house paid in full. Mm. Um, so if I put it on, uh, I can use it as collateral, which we can use as collateral. I think that's good. Really, again, nice job, Niels. Laura, how would you respond? Uh, <clears throat> this, uh, this, this information sound really great in order to to give you the loan, but uh, still, uh, but we still need your company contract. in order to see how long are you going to work for them and then we can start with and then we can start filling in all the documents for doing this loan Nice. Okay. Really well done. Good job, Laura. Julieta, how'd you respond? Uh, yes, I I don't have um, uh, I don't have uh, the idea to change my work right now, and uh, my company is uh, healthy. Um, mm, yes, I I can uh, uh, use the house as a collateral for the loan. Okay, nice. Um, I don't have any plans to change my work right now, or to change my job. I think might sound a little bit better too. But yeah, really well done. Uh, Emilio, how would you respond? <laughs> okay, it's not a problem. Uh, as you prefer, uh, we can either uh, include a copy of your con uh, of your company contract of the contract with your company uh, in the agreement, or uh, or the house as um, as, a, as a collateral as a collateral right. Mm? No problem, as you prefer. As a, as a collateral guarantee. Good. Um, as you prefer. Good. Really well done. And Anna Carolina, how would you respond? Okay. So, take it these documents, read the contract carefully, sign everything, then uh, place all documents required, attach it to it. It might be better to say attach. Attach all documents required. All the required documents. Uh, all, all the required documents. And bring it to me as soon as possible. Okay. And we will analyze your request. But it, but it seems that you are a suitable candidate to get the loan.
Good luck. Maybe for the loan. For the loan, good luck. I've... See you. Have a great day. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. I think that works. Um, so we'd still be with person B though, which is fine. But yeah. So that could be the end of it. So just continue as person B. Um, yeah. You could say to get the loan too. Um, suitable candidate to get the loan for the loan. Either would work. Um, so yeah. Sorry so for goofy meat. No, you did a really good job. Uh, and yeah, good end. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Hey, uh, I, may I ask something? Yeah. I don't sure. know how exactly use collateral. Okay, because so there was a collateral warranty, no? But yeah, collateral maybe I guarantees. don't understand really well the word. That's okay. Uh, so a collateral guarantee is a little bit redundant. You see, it's the same thing twice because collateral is kind of a guarantee. Um, so collateral is just the thing that you would use to pay for the loan if you can't actually pay for it. Um, does that make sense? So like before, um, what is it? Collateral. Uh, yeah, I mean you don't need collateral guarantee. You can just say it's collateral. Does that make Thank you. Yeah. So it's just for that. And does anybody have any other questions on this page? Sorry. Valentina, at least Valentina, can you read the title and the first idiom? Yes, of course. Explain what happened before, during, and after the picture. Uh, yeah. Is that what everybody sees? Is that the page that every everybody sees? No, idioms. But before, the idiom. Yeah. Um, here, let's try to change around a little bit. Right. Okay. Um, can, can you guys the idioms page? I can see the idioms. Saif here. Yes. Saif? Okay. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you come again, please? Sorry. Okay, maybe Niels. Niels, can you read the title? Yes. And the first idiom? Idioms based on the sentence, guess what these idioms mean. Bank on, you can bank on me being there. Money is yes. money. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, really well done. And that... <laughs> Now the sound disappeared.
Yes. No, I can hear you again. What do you th Did you ask what Pangon mean? Sorry? Did you ask me what Pangon mean? Yeah, what do you think it means? It means that you can be sure I'll be there. <clears throat> you can bang on me being there. I definitely will come. I'm sure I will be there for sure. <clears throat> That's really good. Perfect. Um, and yeah, can you guys not hear me? Or can everybody hear me or can nobody hear me? I can hear you now. Okay, well, was I having I was having problems though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh hopefully it's better. Like I said, I had to leave my house um today, so I uh <clears throat> I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't work at home. So the internet yes. might be a little bit off. But anyways, um yeah, Niels, that was perfect. Yeah. Laura, what do you think the next one means? Money, his money, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, what do you think that means? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that he's rich, I don't know. Uh, not quite. Close. <laughs> no, I'm lost. I completely lost. I don't know the meaning. That's okay. Julieta, do you think you have any idea? Could be uh, that um, uh, that uh, the investment is safe, maybe reliable. I think that's a a good uh, good explanation. So something that's safe, um, it's reliable. So because generally money is a sure thing. If you have the money, it means like the deal is either good or you know it's it's better than a check. You know it's better than credit maybe. Um, it's certain. So does that make sense? So you can describe somebody as money, and this is really it's slang more so than bank on. More informal. And bank on's still informal, but it's more formal than money. And does anybody have any questions here on this page? Yes, uh, I have a question regarding the the second sentence. In this case, I think that uh, it's presumably referring to the person, not to to the thing. Then, in this case, should we use safe uh, to, to explain the meaning of money? I mean, for me, uh, the meaning will be he's trustworthy or he's reliable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but money would be trustworthy or reliable, for sure. Okay. Um, so it's generally used in sports. So, okay. a player who never fails to do the right thing in a pressure situation. Um, yeah, any other questions here? Okay, let's try. Ah, uh, let's do something else. Um, and let's have... Okay, Valentina, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Let's have Niels. Can you ask Valentina the first question? Uh, what do you look for when choosing a bank? Mm. Mm. It depends. Mm. It depends on what I have to do. For example, if I want to open a bank account, I choose a bank which has mm, 
uh, an interest rate, for example, or a bank uh, which allows me to pay um, to pay low taxes. In the case of a bank account, or if uh, I need uh, a loan, for example. I choose a bank that has um, a low interest rate. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> what kind of interest rate would you want if you were getting a bank account? A bank which has a low, a low interest rate. If you were starting an account, you want what kind of interest yes. rate? Yes, in general, it, there isn't any interest rate, unfortunately, in the case of a bank yeah. account. No, generally not, but there's a small interest rate. But so I hope to have an interest rate. <laughs> Yeah, you'd hope for a high interest rate too, um, for sure. Okay. Uh, sorry, yes, the contrary, yeah. high interest rate. Yes, but in general, yeah. there isn't any interest rate, unfortunately. But there are yeah. many taxes or fines. Okay, fines. Okay. Good, yeah. And Saif, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Let's have Valentina. Can you ask Saif the first question? Uh, the first question? The second question, I'm sorry. Ah, the second, okay, no problem. Allora, if you had um, one dollar, twenty-five, one hundred, twenty... Uh, sorry, Allora, if you had one, twenty-five, one... Hundred twenty dollars that you couldn't put in a bank. What will you do with it? Okay. Well, this will be a very big problem uh, because uh, there will be no safe place to to put the money in. But I will find a, an illegal way or legal way to, to deposit this money uh, into, into my account um, because there has to be a reason for why I can't put this money in a bank. If it's the amount is very big, I will split uh, the money and I will put them in different banks. Or maybe I will, um, uh, I think Switzerland is the, the country where, uh, where all businessmen and rich people put their money in. Yeah, so but this money you can't put in a bank for some reason. So there's no way you can put it in a bank. So what would you do with it? I will spend it. <laughs> Well, uh, I think I will, uh, of course, I will buy maybe some uh, apartments uh, or some business by cash because uh, if I will just spend the money, uh, they, the money will end and this is something I don't want to, to do, to spend all the money. So I will yeah. find a way to make some investment using uh, cash payment. Perfect. Perfect. Well done. Okay, and let's have Valentina. Can you read this number? Oh yes. Uh, uh, one million twenty-five thousand one hundred and twenty dollars. Perfect. Good job. Uh, okay. And I think that's a really good idea, um, Saif. Um, 
Perfect. And I think we're good on this page. Does anyone have any questions on this page? OK. Let's go on. OK, we can try a little bit with prepositions. Let's see if we can do these. Rebecca, can you read the title and the first line? Yeah. Sure. Prepositions. Fill in the prepositions in the dia dia dialogue. Mary, hey, Bob, what did you uh, do on the bank the, on the bank the bank de yesterday? What did you do? I don't understand in the bank the yesterday. Okay, so it's an A preposition. So hold on, I'll write them up top, the A ones. Sorry, say again, please. Okay, so it's one of those prepositions. Okay, what did you do? But I don't understand the bank the yesterday. The yesterday. Uh, the yesterday. What is the yesterday? Uh, I didn't. Sorry, that's an extra article. Just. Ah, okay. Yesterday. Yeah, okay. Thank you. What did you do? Okay. Above, 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 across, after, against, around, 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 around. at. Good. Yeah. At the bank yesterday. Good. Laura, can you try the next one? I went to the bank to ask. I could say four, but there is not four. <laughs> four? Yep. Yes. Yeah, four so those one. were just there for the first one. Okay, okay. I went to the bank to ask for a loan. The banker said no when he heard about my plan, though. Perfect. Nice job. Uh, can you repeat about? Hey, Laura, can you repeat about? About. Yeah, nice job. And I guess, Julieta, can you read the next three lines? Oh, I'm sorry. What was your plan? I wanted to export the llamas. Why would you do that? Good. Nice job. Emilio, can you try the next one? Yeah. Llamas are great to ride around. They can take you uh, to the store, to work, anywhere. Plus, you don't have to fill them in with gas. Not quite fill them in with gas. What did you say here? I didn't hear around. it well. To ride around. OK. Yeah, that actually works. It's a great to ride around. Um, and the enunciation might be a little bit different. So llama is a great to ride around. To ride around. Yeah, sorry. Llama is a great to ride around. Um, and fill them, what do we take? To fill them in with gas. Not in. Does anybody know what proposition we might Out. use? Up. Up with that. Up. Yeah, Up. good. Uh -huh. Would you say right on? Lambs are great to write on. Yeah, that would work too. They're great to write on. <coughs> okay, and Emilio, can you repeat llamas? In English, we do pronounce that double L. Llamas. Perfect. And Dom, welcome to class. Dom, how's it going? Uh, uh, everything, uh, it's fine. Uh, thank you. I'm a little, a little okay. bit late. Okay. Yeah, I'd say a little bit. Um, <laughs> Very late. Uh, yeah, Anna Carolina, can you try the last sentence? Okay, uh, Mary, um, is uh, such a smart guy that sounds like uh, uh, one of the worst plans I've ever heard. Okay. Close. Anna. Anna. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Dom, I'm going to skip you on this one. Anna, can you try this last one? It's a hit, is it? 
<clears throat> Excuse me? He, he answered. Yeah, I just didn't hear him is the, the only uh, problem. No. I, so what do you think the first preposition might be? Ana Carolina, what, what's the first preposition? Teacher, he already answered. Well, what did he say? I don't know what he said. Mm. Let me see. This is a tough one. Yes, I don't know the first one. <laughs> what about the second one? Uh, on. On. Off. 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 Yeah. Off. Uh, good. And does anybody know the first preposition? In. Or not in. In. Okay. I think Neil said it. Neil, what are you saying? For. For such a smart guy, yeah. sounds like. For. And so we are just out of time. We've got actually a tutoring session after this. Um, thank you guys for coming in. And um, but yeah, thanks again for coming in. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.